Hey guys, we are um, coming to you from our trailer. If you've not been following us on social media, then you may not know, but if you have, you know that we live in a 27 foot uh, 1977 Airstream trailer. And we made the move to move tiny to save money. And we love this lifestyle. Everybody thinks we're crazy, but we love it. And so, um, but the reason that we are coming to you today is we are um, going to be announcing soon, maybe already announced it when you see this video, to our church family that we are leaving uh, Southwest Georgia, leaving Life Church on um, January the 13th. So we're making plans right now. We've been making plans and we are in the middle of that right now. Let me tell you what we are doing. We have felt that God has opened the door and the opportunity and we feel led to go and plant a church in Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado is a beautiful city. I have never been there. Um, I'm, we're super excited. It's a whole new territory for us. And so, um, we're just really in a season of change and transformation and probably the greatest season of faith that we will ever have to live by. Um, January 13 is our last paycheck. And so it's just a really big faith move for us. And so, but we're excited. We're, we're just, we just know that God's going to do some amazing things out in Denver. We plan to move out in the spring. Um, we're going to be traveling for a couple of months and then we're going to head to Denver. We're going to get used to the, the town. The phone is ringing. It's okay. Um, we're going to get used to the city, get to know the people and find the heartbeat of the city. Uh, we know that God wants to do some amazing people, amazing things in the lives of the people there. Um, so tell me a little bit about, tell them a little bit about um, Denver. Well, some people have asked me when I talk to them about this, why Denver, why not something else? And there's a lot of different reasons. One is calling, you know, uh, we didn't know what we were going to do when we made the decision to step away. And so one of the things that we looked at is we have been had a heart for church planning for many, many years since we first started MIP 20 years ago, almost. And uh, we haven't had that opportunity. We replanted a church in uh, Detroit. Most of you know that. And then we came here. Um, and over the recent uh, probably last six months, the Lord has been tugging and pulling and uh but uh, why Denver? You know, we, like Lynette said, we're not from there. We uh, don't know anybody there. We're going there as a fresh uh, mindset uh, of a new thing. But I'll tell you why, from a, from a very logistical standpoint, we, when doing research, because before we do anything, we do a lot of research, 49% of Denver don't claim to be any religion, and especially not Christianity. So it's a wide open uh, mission field, and we want to make an effect on the lost and, and the hurting <clears throat> in a way that... Uh, you know, we've never had that opportunity and we just feel so excited about it. The other is uh, 88,000 people move to Denver every year. Now think about that. How many places in the United States do people uh, are going and flocking to? There's, there's about 10 and Denver's in the top 10. We're looking to go and reach. And so there's going to be plenty of opportunities, uh, plenty of things going on. Uh, you know, I believe that being in Michigan prepared us for this, this journey. It really has. And so, uh, several of our friends have asked us, why not come back to Michigan? We prayed about it, but we really feel that God is leading us here. There've been, there've been dreams. There've been, there've been prophecies given to us. Uh, people who didn't even know this was something we were going to be doing. So we know that God's speaking to us. And so we want to let you know, that's why we decided to go to Denver compared to so many other places. Harrison's up in the front of the trailer. I don't know if you can hear him and the phone and everything else. So the question is, how can you help us? Um, you might be a family or friend, uh, a family member or a friend. Um, you might be a ministry leader that um, is our friend as well. We have a lot of pastoral friends out there, and we may have already contacted you and been in contact with you, or this might be the first time that you're hearing anything about this. And so how you can help us out is if you're an individual, you know, you're a family member, you're a friend that we're sending this to. You could help support us with a one-time gift. Um, it's all tax deductible. Um, you could even support us. We're asking individuals and churches to give us $100 a month um, for the first year to get us started in the church plant. And those all go towards this, this church plant. So you can help us on a monthly basis. You can help us as a one-time gift. If you're one of our church pastor friends, um, we would love, we're going to be on the road for a couple months. We're heading to the East Coast first um, for that middle of January, end of January, we'll be up the East Coast. And then we're heading to, to Michigan. And so um, then we may be coming back through the Midwest as well. 
well. So depending on, you know, a lot of different factors, if you're one of our ministry pastor friends, we would love to come and preach for you on a Sunday. Um, we don't even have to preach. We can get up and just talk to the people about what we're doing. Um, either way is fine with us. We would love, um, you know, your church just take us on as a, maybe a, uh, we're calling ourselves an urban missionary, urban missions to an urban yes. city. And so we would love for you to support us. We're not asking for a lot. It's, it's $25 a week, actually. So it's really not a whole lot, even if a small church can help us um, and really and really help us, you know, even if you're a small church, you feel like you can't do much, but you, it's a big help when you put it all together. And so, um, that, that's some th options. Um, we don't even have to come. We can send a video yeah. and let everybody know what we're doing. And we'll send you, um, some support sponsor cards that we're getting made about things that we need people to pray for us about, um, during this transition and, and that kind of thing. And then we'll keep everybody abreast throughout the year of what's going on and updates and things like that. Um, you know, we're, we're a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. It's a huge faith move for us, but um, we're excited. We really yeah. just feel like God's going to do some amazing things next year, and we really love for you to be a part of it. And so um, we just, we just, uh, if you need any more information, please don't feel um, bad. Contact us. Contact Sean. Let us know if you need any more information. Um, Sean's phone is 734-556-6304. His email. No, that's your phone. Oh, that's number. my phone number. His is seven three four five five six six five five eight. Um, and you know what? Right here, I'll drop our emails as well in the bottom of the screen. Um, but yeah, we're excited. Um, some great things are coming this year, and um, we just can't wait to see what God's up to. And I want to I want to say this that uh, your help will be much appreciated. You know, in in Romans chapter ten verses fourteen and fifteen it says, "How then will they call on him, in whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they are sent?" Now we're asking you to help send us, and uh, you'll be a big part of what we're doing. And we thank you so much. We're asking you to join with us as partners in the Great Commission and what we're doing. And we know that if you will, and I've already been told in prayer, I've already felt the Lord speak, I've already, people have told me that no, uh, that, that God's going to support this. And the one thing I know is those who faithfully pray and understand, you'll be that support. You'll be the people because the resources are there. It, 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 and you are the resource. So we want to say to you, we want to thank you beforehand. Uh, we're, we're very thankful um, that you're willing to watch this and participate with us. Uh, and uh, we're, we're excited about what's going on. And, and please keep us in your prayers. Please. Yes. Um, that is the most important thing is that, that God protects us. He leads us to the right places and um, provides for us. So please, if you can do anything, pray. Um, and we'll be praying for each and every one of you. Uh, that gets involved with this because we know what you're doing is important too. Ours is not the most important, but we, we do need your help. And we thank you so much uh, for this help in this new endeavor. Welcome. You said oh, you yeah, were going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me think. Just a second. Thinking. <laughs> hey guys. Um, if you have not been show, uh, okay, let's just start that. Again. God bless Merry you. Christmas. No, because Christmas will be over. Yeah, sometimes. And the letter will go. Bye, y'all. <laughs>